I think it's very important to make a distinction between good progress and bad progress. Things progress in the sense that they change, but when they reach a certain scale, they turn out to be dead ends. We're now reaching a point at which technological progress threatens the very existence of humanity. Massive inequity, climate change, the loss of biodiversity have been driven over the last 200 years by a system of overproduction of stuff. Nature is not this endless credit card that we can just keep drawing on. We have to use less. Our brain mechanisms are not that different from the brain of a chimpanzee. We are essentially Stone Age hunters, running 21st century software, our knowledge, on hardware that hasn't been upgraded for 50,000 years. Money now grows faster than the real world. Life is being snuffed out of national economies. The debts grow more rapidly than people can pay. That's the political fight of the 21st century. Unlimited economic progress in a world of finite natural resources is bound to collapse. You get hunger, you get revolution. If we can move from non-consumption to consumption, we can also move from consumption back to non-consumption. Instead of writing software for computers, we can now write software for life, taking over evolution for our own survival. The actual engineering solutions depend on an expanded moral horizon. How can we live within the real limits that our planet gives us? We have a chance to control our destiny. No.